Today in Zapekist, Cosmo and I received a ChatGPT prompt from a subscriber telling us to design a track based on what ChatGPT said. The race begins on a wide straight stretch, providing a perfect opportunity for racers to gain speed before the first corner. Just after the start line, the, tra the track takes a sharp left turn, leading into a series of rapid S-bends known as the Ocean Chicane. The racers will have to navigate these tight curves in order to maintain control and avoid collisions, which you can see we've got some wonderful sort of S-bends here. Finally, after exiting the ocean chicane, racers encounter a massive jump known as the Dune Leap. Following the Dune Leap, the track leads into the Sandstorm Corner. As the racers approach the middle section of the track, they enter a tunnel carved through the dunes. This tunnel is narrow, requiring racers to carefully maneuver while avoiding collisions. So you can see we've got some rocks in this tunnel. Really, really good stuff. We're just going to jump right out of it. And then after exiting the tunnel, racers must face the most extreme part of the track, the dizzying corkscrew. This section comprises of a series of tight hairpin turns uphill and downhill, uh, which, you know, testing the racer's agility and nerve. Chad GPT really likes to embellish all the descriptors, but you can see we've got some uphill and downhill curves on some weird slopes. Really makes it tough. Uh, after the dizzying corkscrew, we get into the Thunderbolt Strait, which is this strait here. There is, in fact, a fan hidden behind this rock wall. You can kind of see it there that powers us down this strait to pick up speed. Finally, after the Thunderbolt Strait, it ends with a sharp right turn known as the Coastal Bend. This corner hugs the coastline, providing stunning views of the ocean as racers navigate the challenging bend, which of course it does. And then finally, beach jump just after the coastal bend. The track takes the racers onto a sandy beach for a thrilling jump, which of course we've got here. You gotta jump up, jump over all the trees and land. And then after the beach jump, we end in the final sprint section of the track, which is a series of tight turns and chicanes requiring the racers to showcase their skill and precision. And then finally, we end with a dramatic sprint to the finish line. And so we've got a low powered fan here. So when you get onto this final straight stretch, it will power you up until you get to the finish. So that's my track based on chat GPT prompt. I think it's pretty exciting. Cosmo, of course, built one as well. So we'll have to check out what his is based on the exact same prompt. And uh, yeah, there's a little bit more detail to the prompt. But like I said, it's pretty much an essay. Chat GPT puts a lot of descriptions in it to really, you know, give you a lot of information. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Let's jump right into a public lobby. Alrighty, boys. Uh... This track is a track that uh, Cosmo and I uh, were given a prompt from a uh, follower on Twitter who basically gave us a whole chat GPT prompt for a Zapekiss track. And so we figured we would both do the prompt and interpret the prompt. And it's got like, I don't know, like 13 steps or something on the layout of a track. And this is my interpretation of it. I'm not going to read the whole prompt because like I will have already read it at this point and uh, it's it's kind of long. But this is it. it, Ooh, it... Nice. So, yeah. It's a it's a chat GPT designed track. Obviously I built it, but you know, Chat GPT decided the uh the original layout, and that's sort of my interpretation of uh how you know how it how it should be. I don't know. I like nice. it. It all will make sense if you understand the prompt, which you know yep, I'm, I'll, yep. I'll, if you watch the video, you'll know what's up. Yeah, yeah. I'll <laughs> read this it. Is hard, I'll but read like, it in the intro and explain. Technically the, the people sections. hearing this are watching the video, That's so that's true. You know, yeah, they they know, they know the up. prompt. Just Dapper and Unique exactly. don't know the prompt, but we're just talking to uh, all the people that are in the track right now that can't hear us. Right, what's exactly. That prompt? It's it's long. <laughs> it's long. You don't wanna yeah. It's about I think it's a minute thirty and uh, I had to shorten some sections just to make it actually like work because it was word a little long. I just totally screwed up that corner. Could have done it better. I found the cheese. There I shouldn't totally, be a cheese. Did. I totally just got chipated. There shouldn't be a funnel. cheese. I put ten what, checkpoints to purposely what avoid. What are you supposed to do with the tornado? Go around it. Do like a one eighty. There's oh, photo mode. Okay. Yeah, it debated me. I went like tried to go down it. <laughs> no, no, yeah, no. There's, there's photo mode. I'm, I'm gonna set a time that, yeah. here, but it's gonna be bad because I screwed up a lot of stuff. But I'm like, I can't make the first corner, bro. But go, you gotta go wide, bro, and then cut across. I'm just breaking. Screw that. Well, you can do that too. Breaking works. There are fans in this track to speed you up at points, so you should be okay. Nice, nice. I just want a time, you know, for my first one. I just want a time. There we go. I said a time. One through seven. It was a bit slow. There were a lot of sections I could improve, but. Noise. So. But yeah, I really, I had fun building this track. It took me a while. This is actually a track that like, like I did a bunch of aesthetic work as well. Um, but it took me like a good, like two hours just to lay out the layout of it and. 
you know, really get all the, the elements flowy and... It was kind of nice building a track. It was it was interesting building a track off a prompt because, you know, the inspiration was already there for every section of it, not That's just right, like... That's right, yeah. That's how I felt, too. It's like, hey, build this. this. Is a long you just gotta, yeah, you just gotta execute it. <laughs> yeah, it's like build this, and, and then like, after this, build this. As well, so like you don't really have to use your imagination. It literally no. just, you know, tells you straight up. I think the first, the first section of it said wide straightaway leads to a left-hand corner with an ocean view followed by some S-bend things, and so I used those like slopey ramp things to kind of with trees on them to simulate you doing some S-bends, you know, and nice. then. I like the way you did that, yeah. But, like, still keeping the speed up. And then it was followed by a, a big dune jump, I think, was the next prompt, which is hence the dune. And then that went into, they called it, like, a storm corner or something. And it was, like, a corner with a, so hence the tornado, you know? And then the, yeah. I think that led into a cave. And then into some, an like, track. S bend stuff. I don't, it was really cool. It was the first time. I might do that more and, and generate yeah, some chat. Yeah, I really need it, actually. People should give us more uh, Chad GPT prompts for yeah. once in a while, you know? It's like a you draw, I build, except uh, Chad GPT writes, I build. You know? Right, and even though we, like, both do the same prompt, we're still gonna have wildly different interpretations. Oh, for sure. Of... Like, I was worried that we we would build similar stuff, but mine is, mine is not like this at all. Well, the back straight that's diagonal, I made out of S-Bends because Chad Bro, GPT... Bro, I haven't even gotten there yet. I don't know what yeah, you're talking about. Chad <laughs> GPT called it the Thunderbolt straight. And I was like, well, if you make it out of S-Bends, it looks like a Thunderbolt from above. Right. So, yeah, hence yeah, yeah. the Thunderbolt straight. There we go, fans. Now I'm picking up speed. Now I'm getting some speed. All right. Uh, where's the finish? Do I arms up for this jump? <laughs> Which one? The, the big one where I had to arms up. You don't have to Where arms up for that one. one minute? Oh my god. <laughs> There's a 135. You don't have to arms up for that one if you hit the corner absolutely perfect. Um, right. If you come out of that corner in the, the straight with like the outside oh, no. to inside line and you hit it with full speed, you'll make that jump without arms up. You can, of course, arms up to make it easier, but... S-Bends. <laughs> S-Bends. No, oh, this is bad. I'm gonna die from being too slow. What's bad? Maki creeping up on your time? Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's a hard track only because, like, like I know I'm slow. I know there's sections where I can go faster. Like when I validated mm -hmm. it, I could go faster in certain sections. So it's yeah. one of those things where I know if like I can go faster, the pros definitely can go faster. The only thing that's keeping me in first is the fact that there's a lot of stuff to learn to do this track. So. Once they Serious learn question. it all, Do you guys clear the dune. Or yeah, no? I clear the dune. Yeah, you clear the dune. You yeah, clear the dune. With, I with just watched Maki clear the dune. I yeah, literally with... land halfway like down the nah, middle. Nah, if it. you if you take yeah, the first corner the perfect and you don't lose any speed on the S bend and then you make it through that banked corner with some speed, bro. This is this guy's like if you wake up and you find out and you're you a your su superhero, then yeah, know, no, I, I hit the I hit the dune jump at about one sixty and then I hands up and clear it. Dude, that's insane. Yeah, that's it was it was designed that way. I love this track. I really do. I actually spent way too much time working the line out for this and like really making it clean. And I know there's so many places you can improve your time. Like clean. the, Guy the puts twister trees corner on the track and calls the path clean. Yeah, well, the twister corner, for example. Like I just lost 1.2 seconds because I I yeah, drifted. I mean, if you if you clear the dune, then yeah, but yeah. <laughs> Someone just writes help. One point four seconds down here. This is not good. I'm, I'm doing it without breaking now, but let's see what happens. I mean, oh man, I don't know. I'm going 160 into it. Yeah, you hit it at 160. A little bit of hands up, you'll clear it, no problem. Maybe I go hands up too early. Oh, okay, there we go. There we go. Just, oh, unity just, bounce. Oh, cool. nice. That was so good. I felt so good. Uh, no. Uh, uh, no, get off, get go. Frig. I, I think this is a track the pros might tornado. actually continue to play. Just because it's uh It's got a it's got a big learn like we could play this for another five minutes and we would still, you know, or another ten minutes even, and we would still be improving the times constantly, you know. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, a lot of a lot of time for improvement here. Nope, yeah, still of, not skipping the dune. Really? Even with some hands up, you're not doing it? I did it yep. going 153 into it, and I cleared it hands up. Yeah. I didn't even do a full 160 like Khan said. 
the banked corner before is really the key to that. You gotta, like, on that banked corner before, you have to hit the line from, like, the middle to the low end, so you stay that's glued. That's what I do, yeah. And then you're, if your wheels stay glued down, then that's when you'll you'll pick up all the speed. I cleared it, but I overshot it now. Yeah. The speed! So don't, don't overshoot it, you know? <laughs> Just a piece of advice. Oh, I'm gonna overjump this! God dang, I was on such a good time and then I overjumped. The, that the jump. whole track basically comes down to how fast you can do the start. Yeah. Because there's no. Uh, until that first. After until the that. straight. Yeah. yeah. Once you get to the straight, then it's. Who's got the cat ears uh, hat? What's. Where the hell do you even get that hat? One of the tracks? <laughs> Somewhere Thanks in tips. adventure mode, probably. Thanks, tips. <laughs> 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 Jeez. Wow. Do you see me Zoman front flip in. the dune? Did you out over top no, of you? Oh no, I'm I'm looking at Zomas and just Maki's time, they're so close. Yeah, right. I literally front flip the dune over you. That was funny. I think it was you. It was a blue man with a space helmet. I'm pretty sure it was you. <laughs> Listen. Oh, it's so bad too. I was on like such a great run. I was like 1.3 seconds up on going into the final jump. And then I screwed up the final jump because I put my hands up and overshot it. And then Unity Bounce killed myself. Like, oh no. It would have been, it would have been the time. Well, let's see here. Maybe I can do another good one. Please, good time. Two, oh, I keep hitting the three. freaking pump, Booyah. please. Oh, wow. 133. Nice. Nice, dude. Dang, that's fast. Nice. That's awesome. What can I say? What can I say? Pure pure skill, lads. Pure skill. I mean, technically <laughs> speaking, you have the most time playing this game out of anybody because you've been playing it. Long. I... No, not I most. It He's been playing point. it since I, the Any more now? Yeah, no, that's true. Never mind. <laughs> Someone beat me already. Oh, I'm getting depressed. Yeah. <laughs> Poor guy. That's like Don't twice that. today you've been on the podium for five seconds, not even. This is this is really rough on someone's uh, mental health. True. <laughs> Yours? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, oh come on. Eight. Oh. There we go. Perfect. Oh my gosh, really? Come on. <laughs> uh. Oh, should have called my game like Frustration. Frustration game. Simulator 2020. Frustration yeah. Kissed? <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. Frustration Box? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I got faster than my old time, but I screwed up in the middle section. I have one run left. Like, this is it. It's so. I'm so annoyed that my 1.3, like. I guess now it wouldn't have even been on the leaderboard. You're two seconds for Zoman, but still. I was on oh such a good God. run to screw it up. Come on, come on, come on. Don't go in the grass. Don't go in the grass. Let's oh, go. this is bad. It's too wide. Come on, Yeah, Lance. I'm not, not beating this. No. Mm -hmm. God, oh, I overshot right the dude. Here. I overshot the tornado corner. No! Ah, uh, GG, Dang. man. Oh. oh my goodness, I wall rot and I freaking fell on my head. These guys it. are so good. I'm They're so fast. Uninstalling. I should have set the lobby time to like five minutes and then I would have been the only one with the time, you know? It would have been great. Oh, now I'm 0.248 up. Oh my god, if I make this tornado corner, I'm gonna get you to reset the time unique so I can win this, because... I hope I don't get kicked off the podium. I'm gonna, see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> oh yeah, unique. Reset the time. Reset the time. Reset the time. Don't do say... it. I'm not, don't I'm do not it. touching nothing. No, don't, I wanna, no. I want to be on the podium. I'm on a half second off. I could do something with this. No, nope. please do not nope. do anything with that. No, I need to do something <laughs> with this. <laughs> you take that and you throw it away. Yeah, I'm right still now. a half second up. <laughs> Come on! No, please! Come on. Oh, now I'm going to He's got to face your destiny, bro. No, I'm point 0.3 yellow. I went from a half second to a point 0.3. I'm, I'm, I'm on the podium. Yeah, well, Did GG. I do it, actually? Dang, man. Dang. Well, oh, my God.
It's been way too long. Wow. Look at me, there I am. And Ben Mackey <laughs> took first place. But uh, yeah, thanks for playing my track. I'll put the other guys' tracks in the description. Of course, check out Cosmo's version of the same track, which will be very interesting. And uh, mm -hmm. like, subscribe, and we'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.